which is the better investment, a home in Canada or Canadian stocks? In the world of real estate, there will always be good homes and bad homes. Likewise, in stocks, there will always be good ones and bad ones. So it's always going to depend on what you invest in. I mean, if you bought a Toronto condo 10 years ago, it would have doubled in price. And also within the stock market, if you invest in Shopify since it IPO'd, you would have multiplied your investment by 17 and a half times. As for bad homes, from my research, pretty much any residential real estate in any part of Canada appreciated over the past decade. But a lot of bad homes often come with troubles or costs involved with the property. As for one of the worst stocks of the decade in Canada, it was BlackBerry, with almost a 90% loss of investment after Apple and Samsung took over the competition. So whatever investment you plan on purchasing, be it a home or a stock, make sure you do your homework and know what you're getting yourself into. But in our case, we're going to compare your average home in Canada to the average Canadian stock investment. Before we start, it's also worth mentioning that some homes in Detroit go for a dollar, but it comes with a lot of problems and other costs. So the average home in Canada appreciated by 71% this past decade. But after all, the maintenance and the property tax that you're paying, which is roughly 1% of the home value each year, your real return on investment is actually reduced to roughly 51%. But most people don't buy an entire house in cash. They tend to make a 20% down payment. That means that the return is multiplied by 5, and the return on investment is 255%. After paying the interest on your loan of roughly 3%, your return on investment is reduced to 231% after a decade. Now compare this to a 93% total return with dividends reinvested by the TSX Composite Index. For those that don't know, the TSX represents a weighted average benchmark of the largest 250 Canadian companies like TD Bank, Loblaws, and Rogers. But if you bought the TSX Composite Index with a 20% down payment like you were buying a house, your return on Canadian stocks would be multiplied by 5, which is 465%. After paying interest on your loan, the return on investment becomes 441%. So if you had a more comparative view of buying a Canadian home or a Canadian stock with or without a loan, you would have a huge edge with your return on investment through Canadian stocks. But most people buy real estate with loans and compare it to buying stocks without loans, which isn't exactly a fair comparison. Also, a lot of people would feel more comfortable investing $100,000 as a down payment for a home versus buying $100,000 worth of stock. So there it is. Let me know in the comments below if you would buy a home or invest in stock with $100,000. And also, if you like this content, like this video, and subscribe to my channel because I'll be making more of this kind of content in the future.